and the clients loved it, but it's just that, you know, like they, they were told by like the, the national cinema chain that if they ran with this idea, that they will not show like any French films in the future, ever. That's when we knew, you know, like that's when we knew we had something special. <laughs> yeah. making a porno movie here? Because it kind of sounds like a porno movie. This is what happened when we pitched iconic French films to Hollywood professionals. To promote French cinema to a non-French audience who generally watch Hollywood blockbusters, Alliance Francaise, the leading network promoting French culture worldwide, needed to show what makes French films so unique. So we, uh, my partner and I, we told them like, on one hand you have French cinema, who is like highly regarded as one of the art forms in France. And on the other hand, you have like Hollywood cinema, which is all about like entertainment, blockbuster, you know, like uh, ticket sales, uh, you know. So we feel like there's a nice tension to that. I think we, we wanted it to be kind of like cheeky in a way, you know, like uh, not comedy in like a slapstick way. I think that that would just be like the result of what we what we were trying to do, but I think right right from the beginning, we knew that we shouldn't do any, something serious. I guess you know, like it's it's it, the subject is really serious enough. Like we felt like we had to approach it like in a funny way. I guess he's cute. Uh, he's following me. Yeah, yeah he's uh, he hasn't hurt anybody this week, so he's uh, very cute. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this project. It's a story of an idealistic teacher who must confront the rawness of an uh, inner city high school. You know, so he, he wants to genuinely help these children. This actor who played the director, uh, he's not actually even French. He's like Italian-American <laughs> who happened to be able to speak French. And casting is very crucial at, at, for, for this you know, project because we didn't have a script to begin with. We only had a concept. We wanted you to talk to like Hollywood producers and pitch in like this French like films. That's why we had to find someone who's like, you know, you know, he's passionate because we he had this like great ideas, right? But at the same time, he's kind of like a little naive, I would say, you know, like he would think that, you know, like everyone would buy into his great ideas. I think between endearing and annoying, like there's a fine line that, <laughs> and, and, and we, we were just lucky that we found like this, this talent. This film is uh, about uh, a young adult. She's growing up, she's uh, exploring her sexuality. She falls in love with a fantastic woman named Emma and the love is uh, explosive. We knew we were pitching to like Hollywood producers, right? You know, like, uh, and these are just not any producers. These are like blockbusters, like, blockbuster movie uh, film producer. Um, so we kind of picked uh, the, the films who are a bit more, I would say, uh, unusual in a way. You know, like there was not much action. It was more about like human relationships, you know, and it was a bit more emotional, more drama. Um, and of course, like when these producers heard it, like, it may not be something that they, they, they would be interested in doing. What's at stake here? I mean, we need yes. more. I mean, is, I, maybe we could have one of the children dying or gravely dying. ill. Could one of them be a guy? Would that work? When you, they turn against them, I mean, is there murders then? Or I assume you want this to be financially Why successful. Why can a film that's about something real not be successful? Uh, yeah. It, it might be hard to believe, but all those like, like comedic pauses, like they were all like, you know, natural. It, it happened like in real life. Like we didn't script that at all. You know, it, it's, it's literally like the actor playing along with the producer and, you know, like he knew that he had to do like certain things to get like the producers worked up a little bit. See? I'm not sure how you photograph the internal struggle. This is about what happens when, when we age, when we die. What are we willing to do for love? Nobody wants to see somebody die for an hour and a half. The moment I heard uh, we won, like, you know, like, of course, it was like amazing. Like, I couldn't believe it, right? Like, finally, that moment like came true, you know? This is the first time I won like gold line. So it was, it was special, you know? Uh, and I was joking with my executive creative director at the time because as I've shared, 
uh, my wife was expecting a baby. So there's this like superstition, like belief that, you know, when you're expecting a baby, you, you would have better luck, you know, like to welcome the baby, you know, like that, that kind of thing. And then after we got the news, like the first thing he asked me, it was like, are you going to have more babies soon? You know, like. <laughs>